Australia's Ghost Shark submarine, an extra-large autonomous undersea vehicle, marks a significant leap in the Royal Australian Navy's quest to bolster its underwater capabilities amid escalating tensions in the Indo-Pacific. Developed by Andural Industries in partnership with the RAN, the Australian Department of Defence, and the Defence Science and Technology Group, this 36-foot or 11-meter stealth platform is designed to operate at depths of up to 19,685 feet or 6,000 meters for as long as 10 days. Smaller than traditional crewed submarines, it leverages artificial intelligence through Andoril's lattice system to execute missions with minimal human oversight. Its modular design accommodates a range of payloads from surveillance sensors to torpedoes making it a versatile asset in Australia's naval arsenal. Unveiled ahead of schedule in April 2024, the Ghost Shark reflects a strategic pivot toward cost-effective, uncrewed technologies to complement aging Collins-class submarines and the nuclear-powered SSN AUKUS boats slated for future delivery under the AUKUS Pact. The Ghost Shark's origins trace back to May 2022, when Anduril Australia secured a 140 million Australian dollars or 90 million USD contract to develop three prototypes within three years. A timeline accelerated by growing regional security concerns, particularly China's expanding naval presence and advancements in uncrewed underwater vehicles. Named in December 2022 after a stealthy Australian fish species, the program parallels the Royal Australian Air Force's Ghost Bat Drone Initiative, signaling a broader embrace of autonomous systems. This shift is driven by the need for asymmetric capabilities to counter threats in the Indo-Pacific, where traditional crewed platforms are increasingly expensive and vulnerable. The Ghost Shark's development aligns with the AUKUS Alliance's focus on cutting-edge technology, positioning Australia as a key player in the underwater domain alongside the US and UK. Procurement of the Ghost Shark has been notably efficient, a rarity in defense projects. The initial 140 million Australian dollars contract, co-funded by the Australian government and Anduril, was supplemented in August 2024 by an additional 40.2 million Australian dollars to shift from prototyping to mass production in Sydney. This investment not only advances the program, but also bolsters Australia's sovereign manufacturing base, involving 10 local companies in production and 42 others in the supply chain. The first prototype was delivered in April 2024 at Garden Island, Sydney, with two more expected by June 2025 and production models to follow shortly after. Overseen by the Advanced Strategic Capabilities Accelerator, as its inaugural Mission Zero, the program's rapid progress on budget and a year ahead of schedule, stands in stark contrast to delays plaguing similar efforts such as the US Navy's Orca UUV. The Ghost Shark's role and purpose center on executing dull, dirty, and dangerous missions, freeing up crewed submarines for higher priority tasks. Its primary functions include persistent intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance, with the potential for strike capabilities through payloads like torpedoes, mines, or smaller UUVs. As a mothership for networked smart swarms, it can deploy and coordinate multiple autonomous assets, amplifying its reach. Its stealth and endurance make it ideal for monitoring vast maritime expanses or operating in contested zones, enhancing the RAN's ability to deter adversaries. By integrating into a multi-domain network, it promises to extend Australia's underwater awareness and response options, a critical advantage in an era of heightened maritime competition. As of April 2025, the Ghost Shark has yet to see operational deployment, remaining in the testing phase. However, its mobility was demonstrated in mid-2024 when a prototype was airlifted to Hawaii aboard a Royal Australian Air Force C-17 Globemaster for trials during the Rim of the Pacific exercise, signaling potential interoperability with allies. More recently, during the Autonomous Warrior 2024 exercise in Jervis Bay, Australia, in October 2024, it operated alongside US and UK uncrewed systems, showcasing its role in joint operations.
Video footage from the Australian Department of Defense captured the ghost shark launching a torpedo-like payload, possibly a countermeasure or small UUV, underscoring its modular versatility. These trials highlight its readiness for future deployments, though full operational integration remains pending. The ghost shark's impact on Australia and the broader Indo-Pacific is multifaceted. At an estimated cost of 23 million Australian dollars per unit, far less than the 28 billion Australian dollars price tag for SSN AU boats, it offers a scalable, affordable means to enhance maritime security. For Australia, it strengthens deterrence against regional threats, notably China's growing submarine fleet and UUV programs, while creating jobs and advancing domestic industry through production in Sydney. Its export potential, already piquing U.S. interest during RIMPAC, could deepen AUKUS and Quad collaboration, amplifying Australia's strategic influence. Regionally, the ghost shark introduces a persistent, stealthy presence that complicates adversaries' planning, particularly in contested areas like the South China Sea, where its ability to operate undetected for extended periods could disrupt China's maritime ambitions. Compared to competitors, the ghost shark holds distinct advantages and trade-offs. The U.S. Navy's Orca XL AUV at 85 feet offers greater endurance and payload capacity, but has faced significant delays, with delivery pushed beyond 2025 and costs exceeding initial estimates. China's HSU-01, a large UUV deployed since 2019, matches the Ghost Shark's ISR focus and stealth, but lacks the modularity and AI-driven autonomy of the Australian platform, relying more on pre-programmed missions. Japan's OZ-5, a smaller UUV, excels in shallow water operations, but lacks the Ghost Shark's range and depth capabilities. The Ghost Shark's edge lies in its rapid development, affordability, and adaptability, though its smaller size limits its firepower and endurance compared to larger peers, a deliberate choice for mass deployment over singular dominance. In conclusion, the Ghost Shark represents a strategic triumph for Australia, blending innovation, speed, and collaboration to address modern maritime challenges. Its swift progression from concept to testing, coupled with its versatile design, positions it as a game-changer in the RAND's arsenal. While it may not match the scale of competitors like the Orca or the operational maturity of the HSU-01, its cost-effectiveness and agility offer a compelling model for asymmetric warfare. As it transitions to production and eventual deployment, the Ghost Shark is poised to reshape underwater dynamics in the Indo-Pacific, reinforcing Australia's role as a formidable regional player.